What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Poke Office. My name is Colin. Let me tell you, we've had it all wrong in the Pokemon space. It's a little bit clickbaity, but we had to go there because Astral Radiance now is back available on Pokemon Center as of my recording this, uh, which is crazy because there has been an absolute frenzy going on uh, since Astral Radiance left Pokemon Center. First, a few months back, we had Fusion Strike sell out, and we saw Fusion Strike just start soaring in value on TCG Player. Now, we see Astral Radiance sell out, and it just spiked big time. But not only did those two sets spike, but sets like Brilliant Stars, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, kind of everything later half of sword and shield started spiking because there was just this frenzy sword and shield is ending these sets most of them are out of rotation or lots of them are and they're out of stock out of print harder to find and the last thing is that people just don't want to get rid of their sealed product like there is this whole new uh avenue where people like myself i have this sealed product i'm not ready to sell it yet i'm kind of waiting until i get like double or triple gains rather than selling for a $20 profit, if you know what I'm talking about. So lots to talk about, but now Pokemon Center is having Astral Radiance back in stock. So what does that mean? We're gonna get to it. But first, have to give a huge shout out to everyone, all of you, because I just hit 10,000 subscribers uh, since my last video. I'm humbled. That's all I can say. Kind of in shock, kind of speechless. I don't know what else to say. Thank you all so much. And if you're not subscribed yet, if you like my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and uh, hit the like button for me. It does really help. We're just going to continue growing the community at the Pokey Office here. I'm loving it. Seriously, I tell it all the time, but I love this stuff. I nerd out about it, and I'm just some normal dude who likes talking about Pokemon. I appreciate you all watching. Okay, I want to get to uh, Pokemon Center and actually show you. So I'm going to flip the screen around. All right, so check it out. Astral Radiance is available on Pokemon Center yet again. $143. You can add it to your cart. You can add lots of it to your cart. Now, full disclaimer, I didn't actually buy any. So is it really there? We've seen on Pokemon Center before that they add it back on the website and then you just add, actually can't check out. It doesn't work. So full disclaimer, I haven't tested this myself, but I've seen people posting about it. So maybe it's back in stock on Pokemon Center. So what does that mean? I think it comes down to a few things. Number one, Pokemon company can do whatever they want to. Like they can print whatever sets they want to. Do they want to reprint Evolving Skies? Do they want to reprint Team Up? Well, go for it. It's their intellectual property. They can print whatever they want to. But it would set an unbelievably new precedent that has never been done before, to my knowledge. The only things that I can really think of, and I wasn't even really into the hobby during this, or I was too young to think about it, but... We had first edition booster boxes during Wizards of the Coast. And then you had like base set two. And then you had legendary collection. Like there is, there was a precedent to like reprint a set, but it had a different stamp on it. Ever since, like ever since Wizards of the Coast ended, I don't think that's ever happened before. And I don't think, I don't know to my knowledge, any time where the Pokemon company has actually printed something that is like old and out of stock. Because why would they? At the end of the day, this is a collectability uh, item. So they would totally ruin their brand by doing that. And number two, it's an actual TCG game. So you got to print the stuff that is actually like part of the rotation right now. Here's the second thing that I think we can take away from Astro Radiance being back on Pokemon Center. Like we have a new opportunity to buy at a low cost of entry. Okay, we saw the frenzy take place last week when Astral Radiance sold out on Pokemon Center. And not just Astral Radiance shot up in price, but a lot of booster boxes shot up in price. And now it's restocked or whatever is happening on Pokemon Center. And we just have this new opportunity to buy at MSRP yet again, $143.63. Take a look at what TCG Player has this booster box at. Okay, here it is. So... $174 up here is uh, the lowest priced on TCG player. 
$168.76 is the market price. Listed median price, $199.97. This box has been selling for $175 multiple times a day over the last couple days. Check this graph out, okay? Three months ago, $135. You could still buy it for below MSRP. Now, $169.04. Like, it is on the rise. And here's the last takeaway that I think we need to talk about. It doesn't really matter. Like I am in the Pokemon investing thing a little bit more long term than just to make a quick profit by buying a box and selling it for a twenty or thirty dollar game. I'm in it to see Astro Radiance go to a three hundred dollar booster box, and then I might sell a couple and keep a couple. That's the kind of game that I'm playing. I'm in it for the long term hold. So in the grand scheme of things, whether Astro Radiance or whether Evolving Skies or whether Fusion Strike or Chilling Rain comes back in stock. It really doesn't change anything for me. It might make my my long-term hold a little bit longer. But in the grand scheme of things, we have so much market data from the last like 25 years plus of Pokemon that booster boxes continue to be printed until they don't print anymore. And then the value starts to go up. Sometimes it goes up big. Sometimes it goes up small. Sometimes it takes a long time. Sometimes it goes really fast. But over time, the supply continues to dwindle and the demand stays somewhat, okay? These booster boxes are going to continue to rise. Sword and Shield is going to continue getting older every day that you wake up. These booster boxes are getting older, which means that the likelihood of Pokemon Company printing these things again diminishes. So this doesn't change anything for me. Sorry for the clickbaity thumbnail, the clickbaity title. I wanted to get the views. Obviously, this is my jam, but I'm in it for the long haul. This is just another opportunity to grab a couple more booster boxes of Astral Radiance or whatever booster box you can find on Pokemon Center. Grab them for MSRP before these are $200 booster boxes because I don't think you're going to regret it. I have to say it. This isn't financial advice, just my opinion. But I'm always just trying to add a little bit more sealed product every chance I get with the money that I set aside for Pokemon investing. Okay, a little bit of a shorter video, uh, but I thought that we needed to talk about what's going on right now, today, in Astro Radiance Pokemon Center. And now we got to rip into a couple packs. So I only had eight loose packs left of Astro Radiance. So I got eight packs. And I'll just uh, add two Paradox Rifts, see if we can pull a quick Roaring Moon. Could you imagine how many packs I've opened for Roaring Moon and haven't pulled it yet? And then just out of two, that would be absolutely wild. My hopes aren't all that high, I'm going to be honest with you. But man, it would sure be fun. It would sure be fun. And then, of course, I still have yet to pull that Machamp. So that would also be a lot of fun. Eight packs. But we got one more pack of Paradox Rift first. What do you think about this restock on Pokemon Center? It kind of caught me by surprise, I'm going to be honest with you. Because, to my knowledge, like, did they ever reprint Astro Radiance? Substantially, anyways? I don't think they did. Ooh, Blitzel. That's a nice card. Nice card. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. A hit out of Paradox Rift. Not too bad. Let's go, baby. All right, we're into the Astral Radiance. Let's get it. Man, uh, recently, like, well, not that recently, but it wasn't that long ago that I pulled two of the Starmie V cards. I, I think out of the same 10 packs. It was kind of wild. I don't know what is going on, but we already choked. So Gardevoir and Lucario starting it off with a double banger pack. The cards got stuck together there in my hand. So that was a total choke session. But play bad, get there, as they say. A double banger pack. That is one thing that I really wish Pokemon would bring back. I really like the fact that you can get a double banger pack. Or like, man, I am just messing it all up. We're just gonna go right through. Unbelievable. I got the Butterfingers today. Butterfingers today. But seriously, like Temporal Forces, you can get a um, a spec card along with like an illustration rare. So kind of a double banger, but still, I don't think you can get like just a regular EX followed by 
uh, special illustration rare. I don't think that exists ever since 151. I guess Paldean Fates actually had the baby shiny and then the illustration rare or the special illustration rare slot also had something. So I guess it does kind of exist, but I don't know. I like the double banger packs. I also like Astro Radiance as a whole. I think it's a really good, a really good set. I love the Machamp, though I've never pulled it. So still on my bucket list. Love the Starmie V card. One of my favorite cards out of Sword and Shield. And the uh, Trainer Gallery is pretty good. I also, there's those uh, alternate art cards, Dialga and Palkia. They're pretty cool. The Beedrill alternate art, also really cool. Kingdra, pretty cool. All right. Um, so overall, underrated set. It's not talked about enough when, especially when you're talking about the Trainer Gallery sets of Sword and Shield. Astral Radiance, I don't think gets talked about enough because I do really think it is actually quite good. So what do you think about Astral Radiance? Certainly people think that it's a decent... Um, man, I'm pulling two cards at a time. I don't know what is going on with my fingers today. It's not good though. It's not good. What are your thoughts on Astral Radiance? Is it actually a set that you want to invest in or... I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I've had a few booster boxes of it for quite a while. Like, look at that. They just all stick together. Can't do it. Can't do it. We got a trainer here. Trainer Grant. All right. Full art trainer. We got one pack left. One pack left trying to get the Machamp V alternate art. I don't think it's going to happen. Watch this. Nothing. Nothing. I could see that there was nothing there right off the bat. And no point in even trying when I can't pull the cards with my fingers today. All right. Like I said, a, a little bit of a shorter video. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you actually end up buying Astro Radiance on Pokemon Center. Do you actually get to check out? I think you do. Uh, and it'll be interesting to watch what Pokemon Company does with all of this happening in the market right now. My name is Colin. This is the Pokey Office. Thank you all so much for being a part of this community. Till my next video. Peace.